It's a shame that nothing is built in this country anymore. I just bought a TV and it's a built-in antenna. To be honest, I don't even know where that is. Welcome to Shave and Butcher. I have new lights, so let me know what you think. It's not ideal, but hopefully you can you can see my my beautiful face. I want to sh sh spread the word of a certain sandalwood soap. Quite a few soaps are uh, are made with sandalwood scents. It's one of the most common scents in soaps and, and certainly shaving soaps. My favorite <clears throat> is this one. It's from France, it's, called, it's from Osma, and it's, uh, it's the Osma shaving soap. It's the only, ones, only one they make. It comes in a glass jar, which I think is, is quite nice. It's a hard pack that you put inside and it lasts for a long, long, long time. I'm not a huge, uh, I was going to say I'm not a huge fan of sandalwood. I, I like sandalwood, but some of the scents, not so much. This one is a favorite. The brush today is made by my friend Grey Dog. Um, he turned the handle himself. It's a full moon synthetic knot in it. And the razor is a straight razor from Japan. It's a Baba. Look at that thing. Ah six eights probably absolutely perfect condition and a hollow bevel on that so let's get cracking do i look red i'm not red my face is not red but it feels it's it's been red on the on the camera i'll experiment with lights for a while and we'll get there. So I'm gonna do it down here so I don't make a mess. Lovely, in the lovely, lovely bathroom. I feel I am very close to the, to the camera. Maybe it's just because I'm not used to it. That's gonna be more tricky to change. But anyway, let me know, let me know what you think background there's nothing much i haven't put up the shelf with with brushes yet i will it's just drilling holes in newly put up um, tiles and that's a big commitment <laughs> so <clears throat> big commitment anywhere so make sure we make informed decisions we 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 feel we can we can live with them for a long time before we puncture all the beautiful stuff we have everywhere. Here we go. Yeah, it's, it's interesting that it's the only soap they make. I haven't checked to see if someone else makes it for them. I haven't come across a soap quite like it, so I, I think it's it's their it's, it's their thing and it's it's just a beautiful beautiful sandalwood i bought this in bordeaux in france and um and i should use it more i really should it's a beautiful day it's going to be i think 25 degrees or something today or tomorrow so we'll do a bit of gardening. Well, not a lot of gardening to do. It looks like a looks like a construction site. So I'm gonna mow the grass and do a bit of trimming, do a bit of cleaning up. Um, trip to the to the recycling uh, well, garbage station, basically with some of the stuff that's left from moving in. Uh, you know, things you can't chuck in, in the bin. Pallets and actually full bags of mixed garbage. So that would be nice, get that cleaned up. We're, we're slowly getting there on the inside, hanging things up, 
putting up shelves so stuff can go where it's supposed to. So still quite a bit of work to do. Still too much stuff. <laughs> so we're, I'm trying to sell off. Yeah, that's good. I'm trying to sell off some, some furniture that we're not too emotionally attached to. And you get nothing for it, except if it's by a famous designer, you get nothing for old furniture. So, so I'm basically just trying to get rid of it. Sorry, infrastructure. Um, because there's no space. Here we go, Baba Razor. Oh, lovely, a few years, a few, few years, a few days of growth. Always nice to get rid of that. Ah, lovely. What's your favorite sandalwood smelling soap? Oops, there we go. Let's see. There we go. Out of curiosity, do you ever do that thing with the straight tracer? Do you see if if the lather falls off? Is that a, is that a sign you've got it right? Just like it is for me. Sometimes shaving is like a massage to the face. I mean, we do the same thing every, every time. But I find it still feels different. Some days you're in a rush or you're not in the mood really. And some days it's just pleasure. Today is one of those days. <clears throat> so I found out my neighbor has a cart. So do you call it trailer or you know, thing you put behind your car? put stuff in if you've got a hook on the car if it's called a hook <laughs> okay this is new vocabulary for me but that's bloody brilliant because I need one to go to with all the garbage and usually or normally I've had to go to the next village and rent one it doesn't cost much but it's a bit of a nuisance and then you have to drive to Give it back it's not far it's just cool if, i mean if i had one i would allow my neighbors to use it as much as they wanted to because you, you literally can't wear it out <clears throat> if you're a, a private person so the more use it gets the better right so that's bloody brilliant i hope i uh, or we will have something to offer the neighbors, you know, help or whatever. I love it when you when you can do that when when you have that kind of spirit in the neighborhood, and I think we do. Like I have another neighbor who has brilliant ladders, which is nice because you don't want to have different kinds of ladders lying around that you more or less never use.
Light okay? I still feel red. I still feel red. I still, it still feels like I look red. <clears throat> I was very yellow for a year or more of my my video making, and and it annoyed me until I discovered you could change the the, the thing you put in there to get a whiter light and then it looked good. Jesus. Sometimes it's important not to just accept your misery. If I can call it misery. Some things you can't change and then you need to accept them. Lights, different story. So yesterday we finished building the, well, the closet, walk-in closet, if you, if you will. It's a closet you can walk in and all it has is clothes. So, <laughs> My section is so small, it's ridiculous. And yet, my wife is saying, oh, we've got to find somewhere else to put your clothes. I don't have enough space, end of quote. Mind you, it's not huge. You know, she has a very normal amount of, of stuff for a woman. But still, it's like, what? I don't care. I don't care. If I can hang my hang stuff and, and put my put stuff, is that English? Um, I'm happy. I don't care where it is. But it's, it's like, oh, oh, do you have to be in here with your shit? <laughs> One thing that is different in this bathroom compared to the other one is ventilation. So the old one used to be, well, the, bit, the, the room used to be a kitchen. So we just made it into a bathroom without without changing the ventilation. So it was rubbish, really. <clears throat> you take a shower, and then there would be uh, mist, mist on the inside of the window for a while, you know, half an hour, an hour. So it really wasn't enough. Sorry. <clears throat> This bathroom is built for it being a bathroom and it has, you know, mechanical ventilation. So, so, so that doesn't happen with the windows. You know, the climate is, is better, it dries out more quickly the air after you take a shower. So what, what I'm wondering and maybe noticing is that <clears throat> the lather dries up just a little bit more quickly which is interesting because then I may have to, to tune the moisture content in the lather a bit to adapt to these new circumstances. I don't know if that's the case. I've got a feeling that might be the case. It's going to be stets on today. <clears throat> Someone said they, if they made a burglary here, they would take the stets on. Was it Lee? I can't remember. So that's on it is. It smells great. Really does. That does it for this shaving video. Thanks for watching. 
What's your favorite sandalwood soap, please? Okay, see you later, alligators, and stay sharp.